Hi guys. I have taken the stems of the beets and I put them in a pot with water and what I'm going to try to do is to dye some ribbon and to tint some paper. So I'm going to let this heat up a bit more and see how tinted it will get just with this and um, I may sacrifice uh, one of the tiny beets for the project. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to come out the color. So let me go grab some ribbon. I chose the white ribbon and I'm just going to push it down into the mix. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat down low and let it simmer for a while. And you can also do this with coffee or with tea. And we'll do the paper after. Okay, so it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do, and that can happen depending on the fabric. So I've added some tea in here. And I shut off the heat, and I'm just going to let it sit. Excuse Eon from the dog. It has been overnight that I let the ribbon sit. And I'm going to take it out and rinse it and see what it looks like. It doesn't look like it's tinted it too much, but it will probably give me some layers of color. Okay, I strained it out and now I'm gonna try some of this parchment paper and I'm just gonna soak it in here. This can give your paper an aged look. Now I'm trying it with some white cardstock, and you're better off with a baking pan where you can lay it flat. So, and then hang it up somewhere to dry. To get a different effect, I have scrunched up some of the parchment paper, and I'm soaking it in the tea beet mixture and because it's raining outside I can't hang it up on a clothesline and um, you also have to be careful where you hang it up because obviously if it will stain paper if you hang it up in your house somewhere you have to make sure you pick a spot where it's not going to ruin or stain your floor or whatever so what I'm doing is um, when I take the sheets out I'm just going to stick them in the oven at a very low heat for just a couple of minutes and that dries them right out. Okay, so here's plain white cardstock and this is the card white cardstock that I soaked in the tea. The lines on the back are from the oven which you if you use like a silicone uh, baking sheet or uh, a cookie sheet, you wouldn't get those, but those you might like to have these kind of lines. Otherwise, it wouldn't matter because you just flip it over and you, you, you could glue the line side down. But just be careful when you put paper in the oven, obviously, that you don't want to start a fire. These went in for about four minutes. Um, here is the parchment paper. And the crinkled sheets look pretty cool. The crinkled sheets took longer to dry. All I did was 
Uh, put them in for the same amount of time, but I left them in the oven when I shut it off. And here's the other one that I did. The ribbon did not turn out the way I wanted it to, so I'm just going to wash it, bleach it, and I have some other stuff that I'm going to try to dye it with. I used to dye fabrics a lot, and I know sometimes you have to treat the fabrics before you dye them. I just took a chance with the ribbon, um, and it, it didn't work out, So, but that's okay. And I apologize to the people that have been wanting me to do the tutorial for the pocket letters and the artist trading cards. I've got a lot of stuff going on, and when I'm stressed out and then I've got some pain issues, I'm just not in the frame of mind to want to create so tomorrow is Halloween, and I may do some tomorrow, depending on how I feel. And there are some people that like Halloween, so they'll still be getting pocket letters. They don't care that they come late, so that's cool. But thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope I showed you something maybe that you haven't seen before or never thought of and you could try it yourself. Just be careful and have a great day or night. Thanks so much for watching.